Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, we are from group one. We will present about the history of biological control at Indonesia and abroad. Before we start our presentation today, I will introduce our members. First, my name is Farika Retama with student number 060. Nita Amalia Dewi with student number 097. Corinne Adelina with student number 186. And Dian Ardana Yoga with student number 217. Okay, next. Okay, these are the subjects uh, today. One is background, second one is biological control, and then the history of biological control in Indonesia, and then the history of biological control abroad, and the last one is closing. And next. Okay, the first one is background. Integrated Pest Management or IPM is an approach based on ecological consideration and economic efficiency in the context of sustainable environmental management of agroecosystems. The IPM concept emerged and developed as a correction to conventional pest control policies, which are very important in use pesticides. The use of pesticides has both short and long-term negative impacts. So the biological control needs to be studied. And next, the second one, the second one is biological control. What is bio, biological control? Biological control is controlling insect pests by biological agent, namely by util, utilizing natural enemies such as predator, parasites, and pathogens. Propagation of natural enemies is carried out in a laboratory. In contrast to biological control, natural control is a control process that runs on its own without human intervention. There is no process of multiplying natural enemies, so the biological control needs human intervention and they do multiplying natural enemies. Biological control in, this, uh, in the sense of ecology is defined as regulating the population of organisms with natural enemies until the population density of this organism is below the average compared to without control. And next. And next is history of biological control is divided into three time periods like the early stage periods, mid periods, and modern period. First is early stage or ancient times. Approaches to biological control are still experimental and less really scientific. For example, at this early stage, farmers in China use parapans to kill their horse pests. And when mid periods, the, the characteristic natural enemy interjection approach, a million a millstone in biological control with the successful interjection of Rotulia from to California to control the cotton cushion scale named Isaria purkesmas. And the last is modern biological control period, characterized by the development of approach in biological control by means of augmentation and conservation, began to be integrated with other methods such as resistant varieties, sterile mills, technical culture, and the use of entomopathogens. pathogens. Next. Next is history of biological control in Indonesia. Biological control in Indonesia has been used for a long time. This time in 1925 has carried out biological control against six alpha, a leaf eating coconut pest insect for the Tetigonidae family. And in 1650, Isila was again was introduced to its paras to cabbage parasitoid, namely the Adigma but comes from New Zealand, whose climate is almost similar to the highlands in Indonesia. And in 1932, the biological control that was considered successful with Brontispa longissima in South Sulawesi was Tetrasticus brontispae fair. And then in 1934, control of the coconut beetle, Oryctas rhinoceros, using Scolia oryctofaca, a uh, parasitoid introduced from Mauritius into Java. Next, uh, for World War II, biological control experience, a 
deterioration because it was unable to compete with modern insecticide or pesticide. And from 1956 onward, biological control has been characterized by more careful planning, careful evaluation, and precise evaluation. And then in the in the 1960s, it was again noticed but, but that the main components in biological control are parasitoids, predators, and entomopathogens that are not bad for the environment. Next. The history of biological control abroad. At 1200, the Chinese using the predatory end to control mandarin citrus plant pests. At 1776, the parasitoid was first identified and correctly identified by Valis Miri. The parasitoids found were Cotesia glomerata, which parasitized the larva of Pieris rapai. At 1770, Van Leeuwenhoek discovered Epidus sp parasitized apids. At 17 and 62 first reported introduction of natural enemies in the world. Introduction of a predatory bird from India to control locust explosion in Maurit Mauritius. Next. Uh, the history of biological control abroad at uh, 17 and 76. A predator was first used to control bed books in Europe. Early 1800, Eramus Darwin recommended releasing predatory flies and coxie beetles in greenhouses to control aphids. At 1840, Buis Giraud released predators from the Carabidae beetle, Calosoma psychopanta, in large numbers to control the larva of the gypsy moth. At 1844, Pila combines these predators with other predatory beetles from the family Stapilinidae to control insect pests or of ornamental plants. At 1859, the giant frog, Bufo marinus, was introduced in, introduced from Cheyenne, South America into Martinique to control the white group pest that attack sugar sugarcane. In 1888, the success of controlling E per case occurred perfectly with the use of two types of natural enemies. The success in biological control, it possesses a milestone in the story of biological control. Since the introduction of these predators, people have done a lot of biological control. Biological control of exotic pests by introduction, introduce, introducing natural enemies from outside is called classical biological control. In 1900, the deal of the the development of biological control took off rapidly. Naturally, enemy handling techniques are becoming increasingly sophisticated. Since the beginning of the 20th century, effort for biological control began to consider the ecological and econo economic set of an agroecosystem because effort to exploit natural enemies are not always successful. Next. And then conclusion, biological control is controlling insect pests by biological, biological means, namely by utilizing their natural enemies or biological control again, such as predator, parasite, and pathogens. The history of biological control was first carried out in 1200 by the Chinese using predator ants. Oikopila smarak, smarak dina fav, to control mandarin citrus plant pest. Tesarotoma papilosa, the story of the first biological control in Indonesia in 
1925 aspect of biological control again she shafa olive eating coconut paste insect from the tetigonidae family and then suggestion we have to develop and be very deep in biological control so that the food we eat is healthy and the environment is safe and con Pest farmer of the dangers of pesticide used to kill pests. That is presentation for our group. Uh, thank you for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.